What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do a huge favor and make sure you hit this little subscribe button right here and also ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we are on part three of our series of dry suit diving and in today's video we're actually going to look at a prepping procedure and a storage procedure that I personally do on my suits just to make sure that they're going to work when I need them to work and that I can prolong the life of the suit. So let's start with the neoprene dry suit. The neoprene dry suit is probably one of the easiest ones that you can prep and really take care of it. As far as the prepping process, there's just a couple of things that we're going to look at. Now I'm going to go ahead and unzip the suit here and show you that on the inside it's just neoprene. So there's really not much that you've got to do. However, where the seal tape is, I do actually put a little bit of talc powder from time to time. And it all really depends on what undergarments I'm going to be wearing for the suit. If I'm just wearing a t-shirt and a pair of shorts, then I don't really talc the inside of the suit for any reason. However, if I am going to be wearing, say, in this case, say a button-up shirt, then, of course, I'm going to talc the seams in it just to make sure that nothing catches as I'm putting on the suit so that I don't rip a seam or something like that. Now, typically speaking, on the neck seal and the wrist seals, you don't typically have to talc these because it's just a neoprene liner. But if you feel like you want to talc it just to make it easier and a little bit smoother getting your arms and your head through, then by all means, you can very easily talc it as well. Now, we're going to move over to the zipper area. Now, typically, I like to treat my zippers while they are closed. So, as it's closed, closed up, I'm just going to take a little bit of silicone. There's several different types of silicone you can use. You can use standard food grade silicone if you want. That's basically what we use here in the scuba industry. Or you can use some, some type of tie zip silicone. We're just going to spread it out, just a very, very thin coating. It doesn't take much. One thing that I want you to remember, you're not technically lubricating the zipper. You're going to be lubricating the zipper truck, which is that part that actually closes the zipper. But by spreading it across the top of the zipper, you're going to make sure that you get even even distribution inside that zipper truck as well. So once I've done that, then I'm going to simply open and close the suit multiple times, making sure that I can do it in one smooth motion. I don't want a lot of start and stops there. Once I can do it in one smooth motion, both open and close, then I know that I've got it lubricated where it needs to be. Now that that's done, all that's left, of course, is to roll up the suit and place it in whatever storage container that I'm going to be using. Now I prefer a dry bag for this, and also on the particular zipper that I've got on my neoprene suit, I actually like to leave the zipper closed. So I'm going to simply roll it up, place it in a bag, and that's pretty much it for a neoprene dry suit. Now let's move on over to the bilaminate dry suit. Now on my specific bilaminate suit, I actually have a brass zipper on this, so it's going to be a little bit different procedure than what I did with the neoprene. But let's go ahead and open it up, and we're going to start by talcing some of the seams. Now the seams in specifically that I talc, of course, are going to be the ones that could catch on clothing as I'm putting it on. Depending on the undergarment that I'm wearing, maybe I've got an extra zipper on my undergarment, and of course those are going to be the seams in the areas that I want to make sure that I talc so it's smooth putting on. Once that's done, let's go ahead and move over to the wrist seals. Now the wrist seals, there's two different methods that you can do here. You can actually pull your arms or the sleeves inside out to gain better access to the wrist seals, and you simply just talc them. I actually prefer a talc bag to do this just because it makes the spreading process of the talc a little bit easier. Easier. Now the second method of course is you just open up your seal, stick the tack talc bag down in it and shake it around a little bit. It's very easy to do with this method, so whichever method you like, that's the one I would do. Now moving over to the next seal, it's pretty much the same procedure. I'm just going to simply talc the next seal. I may even take my hands to smooth out the talc a little bit, and we're pretty much done with the talcing procedure. Now let's move over to the zipper. Since this specific suit does have a brass zipper, I'm actually going to use parafilm wax instead of silicone. Now once again, remember, you might be putting a lubricant on the zipper, but what you're actually doing is lubricating the zipper truck. That's that little thing that zips and unzips the suit for you. But I'm going to simply just take the parafilm wax and I'm just going to kind of put a light coating all the way across the zipper. I'm going to do one side then work my way back up the other side. Now with parafilm wax or beeswax or any type of wax that you plan on using, you want to make sure that you heat it up so that it kind of molds into the zipper. What you don't want to do is get too much in between the teeth of the zipper. Simply rub my hands together to get them warm and then I can run my finger across that zipper to kind of heat up that wax. Now if that's done, just like we did on the other suit, I'm going to unzip and zip the suit multiple times just to make sure that it's good and smooth. Once I can do it in one full swoop, both unzipping and zipping, then of course I know that I've 
properly lubricated that zipper. Now if that's done, I'm going to actually leave the brass zipper open, unlike the zipper on the neoprene suit, just so that I can make sure it doesn't get kinked during storage. For storage, it's a very simple process. I simply roll up the suit, place it in the bag of my choice, and then of course I'm good to go. Now we're going to go ahead and move on over to the tri-laminate dry suit. Now it's going to be a very similar procedure to exactly what we did with the bi-laminate. With this particular one, of course, we have two different zippers to contend with, and of course, we've got multiple seals as well. Now just like we did on the other suit, I want to talc just a little bit of the inside. Any part of the seam area that may get caught on clothing or undergarments, I just want to put a little talc and rub it around just to make sure it's nice and smooth. Now of course, I do want to move on over to the wrist seals next, and it's just going to be the same procedure. I can pull one of the wrist seals out to gain better access, or I can very easily just go through the front of the seal and just kind of shake that talc powder around. I can even take my fingers and smooth it out. Now once that's done, I can move over to the next seal and it's pretty much the same process. Just take my little talc bag, kind of puff it around a little on the seal and then I can smooth it out with my hands if I need to. Now moving over to the zippers on this suit, it's very similar process to both the neoprene and the bi-laminate. I just want to put a little bit of lubricant on there and of course I'm going to switch back to the silicone. I'm not really going to use paraffin wax here because it is a plastic zip. I'm just going to smooth out that silicone really good and make sure I can zip and unzip that suit very smoothly in one fell swoop. I don't want a lot of start and stopping. Even the external zip, which is the protection zip on this particular suit. I want to give it a little bit of lubricant too just so that it's very nice or smooth and easy to do. Now that all that's done, all that's left is of course folding up the suit and putting it to bag. Now one thing I want you to remember when you do fold up dry suits, you want to go very smoothly with it. You don't want a lot of heavy creases. I kind of roll mine versus just folding it in general. So I'll kind of roll it up and want to make sure that the zipper on this particular suit is zipped up because it is the plastic zip and not a brass zipper. And I also want to make make sure that the neck seal is nice and flat. I don't want any heavy creases or indentions in the material itself. Now if that's done, I simply bag it up and of course I can store it wherever I choose. So as you can see guys, prepping a dry suit and having proper aftercare is not that difficult to do. One thing about prepping that I personally like doing is you don't have to prep before every dive. You can actually prep a day in advance or even a week in advance. And by doing that, anytime that you store your suit, by taking good care of your seals, putting a little bit of talc on them, it's going to keep them nice and lubricated so they don't deteriorate during storage. As far as the zipper goes, make sure that zipper is nice and smooth. Don't use too much wax or too much silicone. Just make sure that you can unzip and zip it in one full smooth swoop and you should be good to go. Now as far as aftercare, the last little pointer that I want to give you is make sure your suit is dry before you store it and really you want to make sure it's good and dry before you try to do any aftercare as far as talcon or even silicone. And if you put too much talc on a wet suit, any around the seals or the seams, of course it's going to just kind of clob up by getting wet and you really don't want that. So make sure you hang up your suit to dry or you lay it out in a cool dry area just so that you can get all the moisture out before storage. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. We've got a ton of content coming up still on dry suits, so definitely stay tuned for that. If you got any questions on this video or any questions on the materials that we use, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to help you out the best I can. Guys, if you like the video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it. I'm going to go ahead and sign off for today, so take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.